Hello, in lesson one of our Learn Photoshop in a Day series, we're going to take a look at Adobe Bridge. Now you can access Adobe Bridge by going to File, Browse in Bridge when you're in Photoshop, or you can access it from your list of programs on your computer. So when you download an image or series of images from your camera onto your computer, the first thing you'll want to do is to take a look through. And one of the easiest ways to do this is by using Adobe Bridge. Not only is it great for viewing pictures, it also functions as a means for sorting and editing and opening your images. So let's take a look. You can access your images by going through the various panels here. We can have a look through our favourites, which contains a useful list of shortcuts on our computer. Or we can have a look through our folders and navigate to the correct folder that way. Or alternatively, if we have our folder open here, and you can see I've just got my folder of images open in Windows, I can simply drag one of my images into the preview window here, and that will automatically navigate to that folder. And you can see if I just expand my folders panel here, how we've automatically gone to our Learn Photoshop in a Day folder there. And if I flip to my content panel, you can see there's the selection of images in that folder. I can resize these thumbnails here by using the slider at the bottom of the screen. So if I want them slightly larger, I can drag to the right. And if I want to see more of my content panel, I simply need to, to drag this line out. And there you go, you can see that's the images in that folder. And if I drag back the other way, we get a preview of our currently selected image. And one of the great things about Bridge is that it's fully customizable. We can move these panels around by dragging them from one area of the screen to the other. So you can see now I have my preview and content panels here in the large window. And we also have another window down here we can use if we want. And you can access the full range of panels in the window drop down here. So you can see that's the full list there. But when you're editing images, I think it's it's best to keep things simple with a few panels on the page. So I quite like to have my content over here with my uh, folders and favorites. Sorry, if I drag down here, there we go, and then just drag that window downwards. So you can see now we have our content over here. We have a very large preview window. It's also quite nice to have your metadata on screen. So I'm going to access that by going to Window and Metadata Panel. And you can see that pops up here. It's quite nice to have this down on the bottom here. So I'm going to drag it down to this area. And you can see if I drag up, that gives me my metadata, which includes all of the camera information used to take the photo. So that's just a quick introduction to customizing the Adobe Bridge workspace. Now I'm going to move on to giving your images star ratings. And this is really helpful if you want to quickly sort through a whole folder of images and pick your favorites. So let's go back to my content panel and let's also make it slightly larger on the thumbnails here. I'm just going to scroll up to the top and click on the top image and you can see below the thumbnail here we have five stars and we can choose to set more or less stars by clicking on the icons here below the thumbnail. We can also use the keyboard shortcut which is command or control and the numbers one to five to quickly add a star rating. So command or control and four will quickly add four stars. And this is really helpful if you want to just quickly whiz through your images using the arrow keys on your keyboard because you can quickly flip between images by hitting left or right or up or down and very quickly give them a rating. So let's say I want to give that one star. We'll give this two stars and we'll give our sheep three stars flower four stars and a moon five stars and I'm just going to get rid of the star rating on the rest of my images so I'm going to click on the owl there then scroll down to the bottom hold shift and click on my bottom image and then hit command or control and zero to get rid of the star ratings on those three now I can filter my items by a certain rating using the icon here at the top of the screen. So I'm just going to click the drop down and choose show five stars. And that will show all the images that I've given a five star rating. So you can see I've just come up with my moon there. I can go to show four or more stars and that will show my four star flower and my five star moon. Now let's say I only want to see my three star images. So instead of using the drop down here, I can go to my filter panel over here 
and this gives me a range of options to select different star ratings. So I can highlight my three star images and uncheck my four and my five star images. So it's only going to show my three star sheet now. So that's just a few ways in which you can use star ratings to filter your images. And it's also worth bearing in mind that the keyboard shortcuts for copy, cut and paste work in Bridge just as they would in any other program. So you can use Command or Control and C to copy, Command or Control and X to cut, and Command or Control and V to paste. Or you can simply right click on a file or series of files and choose cut or copy and then paste. So that's just a quick introduction to Adobe Bridge. There's obviously lots more to discover, particularly if you look in the tools drop down here, we have Photoshop and then we have a range of options we can use to link files into Photoshop. So it's worth having a play around yourself. Thanks for watching.